choose it myself. Like, everybody gonna be like, oh, she's single again. Hello, yes, this is your girl, Queen of Commentary, and we are back with another video. Yes, I had to kind of go back with this one, you guys. This is about uh, when Brittany uh, talked about breaking up with James. But before we get into it, you know what to do. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave us a comment, and cut those notifications on, you guys. It's very, very, very important that you cut those notifications on. All right, so let's get into this you guys right quick right quick listen very very closely you guys because we are going to basically break it but down. you know what i'm glad i made a decision to step i'm glad i'm making a decision to leave a n who can't step to leave who can't be the man that he needs to be and what man does james need to be Brittany? okay Honey, 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 if you can't be the woman you need to be for him, why are you requiring that he be the man for you? It was all good in the beginning. It was all good when you were married. It was all good when you were laying up trying to what? Get pregnant and all that. And all of a sudden, he ain't the man you need him to be. He was the man back then. What changed? Oh, because he started to see your what? Your true colors shining through. Yeah, deal with it. When people learn that Jezebel spirit, they run away. To leave a man who mentally ill, to leave a man who ain't got it together and ain't going to get it together and showing constantly you not going to get it together and showing constantly. So let me get this straight. And you just found out that James is mentally ill. See, that's what happens when you get in the bedroom too fast. And I doubt that he is mentally ill. I just feel like he just doesn't want to deal with you. He just doesn't want to deal with all the baggage that comes with you. See, your ex-husband said the same thing. Oh, my goodness, this girl is something. You know, but by the time they find out feelings have been exchanged, once you have been in her dwelling, that's it. That's all. You can't just run. And the baby is coming. And then you are stuck forever. The baby is a blessing. But, y'all, I hope you are learning your lesson don't do this anymore that you immature and showing constantly that you and you ain't ready to grow up and you're not ready for responsibilities Brittany is so concentrated on you know james growing up and and taking you know his responsibility serious but um she has yet to do that she is still acting like a little schoolgirl, baby you got four children you should be this passionate about your children's well-being and growing up and making sure they okay you need to be more concentrated on yourself, becoming a better mother, a better steward for Christ, you know? Isn't she, you know, putting up stuff and in, in scriptures and stuff now? And she's still doing the same thing, worried about a man, always chasing behind a man. Uh-uh, you know, you need to show that you were growing up before you expect someone else to. I'm proud that I'm choosing myself. So if anybody want to talk about that, that's cool. I don't give a damn. I'd rather be talked about about leaving somebody than to be staying with somebody who ain't. Now, Brittany, you know you didn't choose yourself. You chose a man. You think men can be controlled with that little thing. Baby, they can't be. Why? Because there's thousands of them. Women, we outnumber them. You get what I'm saying? If that's all you got to bring to the table, baby, he can get that at any table. Anybody can twerk. Anybody can do whatever. You got to cook. You got to you gotta listen to the man. You got to, you know, know what a relationship is about. You got to be there in their ups and their downs. Everybody got issues. Everybody got times when they up and down. That's the relationships, baby. Everything ain't going to go easy, breezy, cover girl every day. And that's just that at the end of the day. Every, anybody and everybody going to be mad about this live. I don't really give a damn. At the end of the day, I'm the one who been suffering in silence for and friends and, and, and now my most recent ex like all this shit is just happening at the same time and I'm pregnant so my hormones all over the place so at the same time when people because at the end of the day when I'm being dragged and talk about who they're the same and protect me now Brittany ain't nobody dragging you and talking about you other than what they see you say and do okay people are just responding to what you put out there you always say you so quiet. Well, honey, if you are so quiet, why are you the most talked about? 
If you were quiet, nobody would even have anything to say about you, Brittany. Honey, you're not quiet. You are loud. And this is how you are to your uh, listeners and to your audience and to your your uh, supporters. I can just imagine how you are to your baby daddies. Oh, honey, you got to be loud. That's why they running. Men don't like no loud woman. They really don't. In real life. Who's saving and protecting me in real life? Like, nobody ever thinks about that. And we're not talking about social media. We're talking about in real life life I'm always saving and protecting everybody else in real life and ain't nobody doing that shit for me so well that's usually how it goes if you always want to be in the forefront and you want to act like a hero and you always want to cover and do whatever this is what you're saying then no ain't nobody going you know save you because you're surrounding yourself with people who need you isn't that what you're doing? You don't want to be around people who are self-sufficient, who can save you, baby. You always out in the forefront. You always are the aggressive one, okay? Even your ex-husband said, you know, you want to get back with him, but you too aggressive. So who is going to save you? Nobody needs to save you because you all big and bad. Big Bree, right? Big Brittany. That's what you call yourself. Why I'm going to keep doing it for everybody else? That shit ain't fair. That shit ain't cool. And, and sometimes I be mad as hell, God, because I'm like, God, I hate the heart you gave me. I hate loving people the way I love people. I hate. Now, this part is full of malarkey. How you going to say that to God? Who are you? Hmm? You can't have hate and love. Hate and love cannot reside in one situation. It's either going to be one or the other. Now, who you fooling? You don't love anybody. All you know is hate. You want people to love you, but you don't know how to give love. Give people their space. Pray for people. You know what we do in private shows in public. So if you really care about James, if you really want him to mature and be a better partner and a better dad and all of that, then you pray and you do what you can for yourself to present yourself the right way. And maybe he'll pick up on some things. I'm just having a conditional helping heart. They always want to forgive and, and, and help and help and help and help and help and forgive and help and help and forgive and help and ignore and, and try to be like, oh my God, you know, well, they went through this in their childhood. They don't know. Or they don't have. Now, she had to say this before she admitted that they both dibbled and dabbled in the relationship as far as it being very rocky and tumultuous. She said that. One thing you can't do is complain about something that someone else does when you join in and do it too. You both are wrong. So you both need help. You both need to mature. You both need to look within yourself and see what is going on and ask God to help you with that because he made you. So he's the only one that can fix you. You get what I'm saying? So she's not innocent. She's trying to act like she is the victim. Oh, she's forgiven, forgiven, forgiven. No, you have the tools. Oh, they wasn't grown with the tools. Oh, they don't have a great relationship with their parents. Oh, they, oh, they, they lacking this from from this parent. They lacking this from that parent. They didn't get this growing up. They didn't get this. But at some point in time, I gotta stop making excuses for people, and I just really gotta see people for where they at. And like they always say, when the person show you who they are, I believe them the first time. And so Brittany is really sitting here analyzing and looking at everyone laser focused and never looking at the woman in the mirror, never looking at self, never taking accountability. And this is why none of her relationships are working because no one is going to sit there and allow you to sit there and literally pick them apart and tell them what they need to do and what's wrong with them. All the while they seeing a huge issue themselves, but the person is not willing to accept any involvement in the problems of the relationship it takes two this is just oh my gosh it's ridiculous and and, and now i can see why no one wants to be in a relationship with her yeah believe him the first time so it is what it is i know that this situation for me is temporary and what god has for me is bigger and better and that's just that's just that Whatever God has for me and what he got in store for me, that's just that. I ain't got to sit up here and post no scriptures that be fake. I ain't got to sit up here and post my babies on the internet to be fake. 